today, just a second. I want to talk about, um, when you are in trouble or in normal circumstances or in peculiar circumstances, I think it's important to um, be considerate of the person. Even your kidnapper, for example, if you're kidnapped and um, you are uh, tied up or whatever, if you can speak, for example, or in your, in your emotions, um, not to, not necessarily to get the best treatment from the kidnapper, but just keep in mind that the kidnapper is a human being, and that might help that person to do less bad things, and it would help you too, so... Not in a way that you don't mean, not not insincerely, but in some ways that you feel um, something that you feel for the person. If possibly there's such a thing, that maybe you could do something or show some thing and try not to betray the person. Um, I think that's important too. Um, in my uh, imaginative world, when I was doing voices, um, for example, um, I did a few things. For example, like if, if, if you know that um, someone's going to come to your place, and um, <laughs> what kind of situation should I portray? Um, there was one time when I was told that Leo was going to uh, sneak into our house, into our um, yard and um, he was going to do some inspection and uh, according to the um, story uh, there were some evil things going on in the farm and so he was going to come and inspect and um, I sort of left the blinds in my, in my room, like it's a house, right? And so he comes to our grounds, right? So I, um, I, 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 at night, I, I turned on a light and I opened the blinds so that the light would be visible from outside. So when he comes to the house, it won't be so scary. There'll be at least one spot um where he could see that was light and it was my room so I and I tried to sleep with me a little bit visible from outside um it, it could be a dangerous thing but you know if you have a good intentions I think God has a way of protecting you um I don't know if I can be responsible for such a claim but I think God does protect you. And so those kind of considerations can go a long way, in my opinion. Um, let me go to Korean and say it. 제 생각에 어, 남을 배려하는 것이 참 중요한 것 같습니다. 심지어 자기가 납치되었다 하더라도 그 상황을 좀더 최선의 상황으로 끌어내기 위해서는 그 납치자를 좀 배려해주는 마음을 좀 가지는 것이 좋을 것 같다는 생각을 한번 해봤습니다. 어, 그, 뭐랄까 자기 진심이 없는 얘기가 아니라요. 자기 그 사람이 좀 이렇게 이런 고통을 하고 있다, 이런 어, 좀 고통을 하고 있다 이런 생각이 들면 좀 그걸 배려해준 말을 좀 약간 해준다든지 행동한다든지 그리고 배신하지 않는 것이 참 중요한 것 같습니다. 의외로 참 중요한 것 같은데 예를 들어서 어떤 사람이 들어온다 그러면 그 사람이 나쁜 사람이라 하더라도 자기가 도망치면서 
Because I'm going to get a lot of money. For example, if a person is bad, a person bad, you're running away from someone bad, but try not to betray and be considerate of that person. So maybe turn on, turn on a light. Like if it, if it hinders your escape, then you can't do it. But if it's not, and you know that that person is be scared, leaving a light on, something like that. So, 저기 나 나가면서 불을 하나 켜는다든지 그 사람이 겁이 날수 있으니까 불 켜는다든지 이런 종류의 좀 약간 배려를 좀 하는 것이 좀 악한에게도 자기에게도 좋고 그리고 더 마음을 바르게 먹게 할수 있는 것이 아닐까 그리고 좀 상황을 좀 완화시킬 수 있어서 그 사람에게도 좋고 자기에게도 좋은 게 아닐까라는 생각을 한번 해봤습니다. 나누분이 한번 여러분들 여기 장미가 있었는데 장미가 장미가 없었네요. <웃음> 여기 장미를 하나 꽂으셨으면 좋겠습니다. 제가 내는 마른 장미 얘기 하나 꽂았었는데 여러분 음. 놀라운 일이네요. 